Hi everyone, my name is Kyla Gross, and this is my video for the bookmaking assignment for ARU 236. So, what I decided to do was I decided to do my favorite poem instead of like a like a, a really personal story, I guess you could say, because it's still pretty personal to me because it's my favorite poem, and whenever someone asks me, like, oh, what's your favorite poem, I automatically come to this, and it's the two-headed calf poem by Laura Gilpin um and I decided to do like an accordion style book in like a like a jewelry box that I had because I was originally gonna do use like a whole piece of watercolor paper and do it like an accordion that way and it didn't end up the way I wanted and I saw this in class one day and I thought it would be a really cool idea for what I wanted to do oh, that's stuck <laughs> sorry and I thought it would be a really cool idea for what I wanted to do so yeah that's why i decided to do it um i used pencil to sketch the drawings and i used sharpie to write out the poem and colored pencils to color everything in i wanted to do watercolor originally because like i said i was going to use like a whole piece of watercolor paper and just like accordion it but it every time like nothing was working out the way i wanted so i thought this would still be a pretty cool and cute idea so I'm gonna read the poem and then I'll show you like the, the whole book tomorrow when the farm boys find this freak of nature they will wrap his body in newspaper and carry him to the museum but tonight he is alive and in the north field with his mother it is a perfect summer evening the moon rising over the orchard the wind in the grass and as he stares into the sky there are twice as many stars as usual this poem always <laughs> makes me really emotional and I can't even explain why. It's just, I have a soft spot for animals. That's probably why it makes me so emotional, but this is the little, sorry, I'm trying to see what I'm doing. This is what I did for the first one. I really like this one because it, I kind of pushed myself. I don't really know how to draw all that well and I wanted to draw something. So I drew the two-headed calf in a field and then I drew, um, the mother because i knew i could have drawn the two-headed calf and the mother again but it was really 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 difficult for me the first time um and then i just drew like a, a field with some trees um i'm really proud of this one and i know cows don't usually have green eyes but i have green eyes and i wanted to like incorporate part of myself into it i guess and then this is the, there are twice as many stars as usual. I just did like a shooting star in the middle and then some stars around it. Um, yeah, I thought it turned out really well, especially since I'm not very artistically inclined, I guess you could say. So, um, like I said, I tried to do like a full watercolor, like use one of the pages in our watercolor books. I tried to do like a full accordion and Nothing was working out the way I wanted, so that's why I ultimately chose to do an, like a smaller accordion book in, so the pages are kind of wonky so it doesn't fit all the way in, but that's why I decided to do a smaller accordion in a more manageable format. Um, sorry, I'm just looking at the, what we're supposed to reflect on how this art making experience experience makes you feel about the benefits of art making and art integration in your own future teaching or other. I think it's really important to encourage young children to, you know, make art, do whatever they want because I remember when we were talking about class, it's not a good thing to tell kids to be like, oh, that's really nice, what is that? It'd just be like, oh, that's really cool. Tell me about it and I think it's important to encourage like I'm definitely like when I'm a teacher I know I'm going to encourage my future students to pursue the arts if they so choose obviously I'm not going to be like you have to be an artist but I'm going to encourage my future students to you know do whatever they want especially if it's the arts because the arts has always been underappreciated and there's a lot of benefits to people making art like you know we get to enjoy it and it gets like the artist gets the reaction they want they get to spark certain emotions and I just yeah so that was my little video again I'll just show you the book one more time really proud of it 
And yeah, um, thank you.